I'm Peter Kerbel from Data Science and Consultants. Make another video here for datasciencing.com. In the past, I've made a lot of videos showing off dashboards in Microsoft Excel and Tableau. But some people have asked me about creating dashboards in Power BI. So in this video here, I will be showing off a Power BI dashboard. All right, so if you're ready, let's have some data fun. So in this dashboard, you can see here we have a map of Canada. This is where the showing the gross sales and the count of the number of customers in each of these provinces. And over here we had, so here uh, Manitoba is the largest, so that's where the most uh, sales are. That's where the company is headed. This is just a sample data set. This isn't uh, real data, but it looks like it's based in Manitoba. And over here is this total sales. For, this is for all our customers. There's a thousand customers in this data set, and the average sale is sixteen dollars and seventy-two cents. So what we can do here in Power BI is use some dynamic filters to do uh, some basic data mining to check out what's going on with our customers. So for example here, uh, these are categories, handmade, vintage, antiques, furniture, miscellaneous. And here is another chart, uh, our age and gender, split up male, female, and here are our age groups down the side here. So if we wanted, we could check out just all information about our handmade, our handmade products. So there's 756 customers bought our handmade products. The average sale is a bit less than the average sale of all our products. So though this is the highest uh, total sales, the average sale is a bit less. And the uh, demographics here did not change too much from our overall demographics. So one thing we can do is notice uh, that most of our customers here are females in these three age groups. So we can highlight these, uh, 1825, 26 to 35, and 36 to 45. And we can see here, uh, represents uh, almost half our customers, uh, 46%. Uh, however, the average sale is far less than the average sale of our regular or the overall uh, customer data set and the sales are a lot less so we have more customers in this group but not as much uh, sales so they're not buying as much so we can focus on either focus on uh, possibly uh, seeing if we can in increase the price of those products or if we're looking to uh, market more volume if these are going to be uh, lower profit margin items that they are buying uh, to try to increase uh, try to, to take advantage of the high number of customers in that area or that uh, demographic you can also see here how many customers in each province so of these 490 460 sorry 193 of them are in Manitoba so could focus on a campaign Manitoba and spread it out or Saskatchewan here is more central with the prayer provinces and there's 70 so that might uh, also be feasible instead of trying to do a uh, nationwide campaign focus on a smaller group first or over here there is uh, you see there's only 48 so uh, that might not be as useful as Saskatchewan or Manitoba So I'll deselect these to go back to our base set. So this is for all our information. So we can also click on, let's say, one that's going on just in Saskatchewan. You can see overall there's uh, only 158 customers and $7,000 $7, worth of sales. So there's not much going on there um, for the high profit margin items. So we can explore and see what other uh, provinces might be uh, somewhere to focus on if we're looking for the higher end items. We see that they're all 
about the same. So there isn't anyone uh, other than mental behavior is a bit higher. Um, but there isn't any uh, promises that are showing like uh, average of $20 a sale. So that can kind of also confirm that the average sale is fairly consistent throughout the promises. That's uh, not necessarily um, a huge uh, huge or big splash information, but it's also good to know uh, for when you're making decisions, you want to be confident in what you're making your decision based on. And if, if that's what you suspect or you suspect almost your customers are in Manitoba, this will confirm that. So even when your data mine does have to be totally relative, like totally new information you didn't know about, uh, this also helps just confirm what uh, you're suspected uh, already from your experience uh, working in with all your customers over the years. Uh, so we can also go a different route and check out the lowest number here of customers or the smallest uh, number of different customers here are the uh, 64 plus if you want to market that group and maybe expand that and see what's going on there so we see we only have 45 customers but the average sale is almost $23 which is significantly higher than the average sale of all our customers so it might be worth checking out uh, specifically what they're all the products they're buying and focus on marketing towards this age group as they seem to be spending the most and most likely have the higher profit margin items so that might be worth it uh, in contrast to the uh, other age demographics trying to sell a few more products but a higher profit margin might in the end make more profit than focusing on just quantity here with the, with this age group with uh, the lower average sales so probably lower profit margin so that's some basic uh, data mining we can do here in uh, Power BI we can also check out uh, say just by our categories explore what's going on in the categories so our vintage items uh, the average sale is quite a bit lower than our the average sale of overall customers and we almost uh, have 500 customers in this group as well and here because these are going to be overlaps so we have some customers are buying handmade and vintage that's why these totals will add up to more than a thousand if we just look at uh, handmade and vintage um, we can see here I made the average sales closer to the, the regular average sale so let's see what else is going on antiques is quite a bit higher so maybe uh, that's also another group category to focus on and we can explore let's see what else is okay so furniture average sale so uh, furniture is probably more expensive so we can check the uh, profit margin see if that's uh, worth exploring more and where the, uh, the most customers are, of course. Manitoba, that's where it's based. There's still a fair number in Saskatchewan and Alberta here. And only two in British Columbia, so maybe with shipping that's might be not worth it. It doesn't look like there's any Ontario. There's a few in Quebec. So if you want to focus on furniture sales, you have a new furniture product, because uh, the sale is quite high. Uh, you could probably uh, start in Manitoba or Saskatchewan and focus on that area and uh, capture some good revenue in, the, in those areas in this uh, fear furniture category and here's the miscellaneous that was significantly lower uh, so might be not one to focus or focus on seeing um, what areas you need to improve or if it's worth keeping those uh, miscellaneous items that you're selling So this is, yeah, just a basic uh, Power BI dashboard, uh, doing a little bit of data mining to see where uh, you can look for marketing or type of items you want to focus on. Uh, if you're interested in using dashboards to improve your business making decisions, you can check out datasciencing.com or email me at peter.koebel at datasciencing.com. Thanks for watching.